What, who is this person? I'll just phone them and find out. They're emotionally vulnerable, which means they're particularly open to the power of suggestion. And this is all just, this is all psychosymptomatic. So How well do you get along with Jane? But she can just be so strange sometimes. Like one night just after Hugh left, she came into my room and insisted I read a book to her. The book was on monsters, vampires and werewolves and witches. I mean, what kind of little girl reads books like that? That was exactly my reading repertoire as a kid. So who's Ooh. ready to go on a ghost hunt? I am. Oh, a ghosty. Oh, it's cute. That one. That's not what I expected. Congratulations, Woo! you're one of the few people who have seen the 13 ghosts of Blackmoor Manor. Hell yeah, I am. When you're facing the green dragon, look to the left and pull below the vase with the tree. Bling. Whoop. Wah! Ho ho ho! Baby! Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to the Curse of Blackmoor Manor. I apologise for any background noise. We are going through a heat wave, mad heat wave in Europe right now, and it is warm at the moment. This is just warm. I'm doing okay, which is how I am able to record. But I can't turn off my fans, or I'll die. Uh, oh, knocked a stuffed dog on the floor. Bear with. Uh, but last time I was eating pistachios, so <laughs> why break the habit of a lifetime, right? Okay, so I have a key for that door, but it needs oils. Oops, no. We're sorry, your call can't. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so we learned this thing. Face the green dragon. Look to the left and pull below the vase with the tree. That's got to be about the secret passage, right? But then that means that Alan knows what the secret passage is. So there's got to be... I was looking for a room with a vase, wasn't I? I suppose it would happen to be in my room. That would be, like, super handy, actually. My gross dinner dish is still there? That's uncool. Yeah, none of these are dragons. These ain't dragons. Probably in the main hall, right? Wait, something just filled in in my, in my book. He seems very aloof. Is that just a British thing? Nancy? Wow, I feel offended. Uh, Jane's grandfather, Alan, did a find 13 ghosts thing. Yeah, from what Linda told me, it sounds like Jane's lady in black. Uh, it was a copy of the curse Linda saw in the secret passageway. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what... It, uh... I did like a little check mark thing when I went into my room just then. I don't know why. Okay, whatevs. Wait. No, that's, that's definitely not a dragon, but it could be a statue. That's worth noting, right? She's probably sleeping. Oh, what time is it now? It's 1am? Oops. I should go to bed. Damn, I'm really bad at that. Sorry, Lulu. Very disturbing Lulu's slumber. Right. 6 a.m., please. Oh, I'm only gonna get five hours of sleep. Oh well. I'll survive. I'm a detective. I've probably I've probably done worse. Morning everyone. Love that picture. Do love that picture. Sometimes it suddenly does the spooky music and I don't... I don't love that. Okay. I don't like it. Oh no, he's still Hello, here. Mr. Pambolin. It's Nancy Drew again. Yes, good to hear from you. I am a bit pressed for time, however. Uh, do you know my What do you know about the Beast of Blackmore? Pure medieval fiction, the product of little minds in an era of dangerously little education. Oh, I'm with you, man. I have to so much as mention it to Jane. Where did you hear about it? 
The man doing research in the library, Nigel Mukherjee? Another of my aunt's ideas. The fact that the Penvalins have never had a book written about them has been a perpetual source of social embarrassment for her. That's a bit strange. Uh, how long has he had he access, had to, access like? to the library? For months now. Not that he's much of a bother. He's quiet as a church mouse and he never seems to set foot out of the library. He was recommended by a friend, and he has assured us over and over that the book he publishes will cast only a positive light upon the Penvalin name. Although, come hmm. to think of it, I never have seen the contract he agreed to sign, which was to put that promise in writing. Interesting. Have you spent much time on your father's computer, the one that's in the library? I dare say I've never touched it. Mathematics, computer science, linguistics, all the things that fascinated my scholarly father bored me to tears. He gave up on me quite early on. Fair enough. With Jane, however, it was a different story. What do you mean? From the day she was born, my father doted on her far more than he ever doted on me. Ooh. Read to her, bought her books, games. Truth be told, I was a bit jealous. He passed away when she was still a toddler, so it's unlikely she remembers all the attention he showered on her. But I do, and I still find it so out of character as to be mystifying. She's a great kid. It was nice talking to you. Anytime. Bye, Hugh. Can I phone him again and ask him about the beast? He'd probably be just as pissed off, right? Hugh, You're it's Penvalin. me again. Hi, Mr. Penvalin. Nancy, how can okay. I help you? It was nice talking to you. Anytime. Just wanted to hear your voice. Sorry, chum. The Boar's Head pub is closed. Bring us back after I come day's dawning. Fine. What time is it now, then? Oh, 6.15. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, how do I get out? Oh. Yeah. How the hell do I get out of here? Okay, so it's too early to too early to buy food. I mean, order food. I'm not buying it, I guess. This is just... We've just done this already. What was all the... Right, what was all the stuff on Nigel's computer? There was some other stuff on his computer that we learnt. Scratching, I've got the sound of spooky chanting. Yeah, no, okay, let me just, I guess I'll just go and look at the computer again because. Oh, why does it do the creepy music when I'm here? Hang on, this isn't Rise It. Is this the library? Yeah. Okay, still gone. Where is Nigel? Oh god, this face scared me. Right. Columns in the Great Hall are most curious, each one representing a Greek deity, each one missing some minute detail. The riddles I found in Corbin's secret room in France make reference to the Mercury Column and how his key is held in hand. And only by persuading Mercury to face north and lift his eyes into the sky will the wand key be released. The Mercury Column. His key is held in hand. I need something else for this. I need something else for that. Why does it sometimes do a little exclamation mark here? Maybe I can do some. Maybe I can do some new stuff with Jane. I might just have to snooze. Oh my god, time's going so slowly. I might just nap. I might just nap until Jane's free later, so I can hang out with Jane. I have a feeling that that because we have access to the alarm clock as a thing. I have a feeling that might be part of the game, so I'm not like. Uh, uh. Oh, do you know what? I'll set it to nine and then I can order some food. Hello? Can I have oh, some hey, food? This Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'd like to order some food. Sure, we've got some loop-de-loop -loop bangers and mash, pinky and perky and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. Um... Can I have... Pinky like and some perky, pinky please. Pinky and perky, please. Good choice. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? You bet. All Hell yeah. Right, then. We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Baked potato! Baked potato! He's, he's a fun lad. He's a good fun lad. How long do I have to wait for food is the question. If I go to sleep until Jane's class is done, will my food also appear? This is obviously still my... Oh! 
Oh. Johnny Rutter. Can I? That's probably a stupid thing to do, but can I grease the lock with butter? Oh, the problem is they're in lessons right now. Okay. Well, back to bed. <laughs> Oops. Back to bed for me. Uh, when do they finish lessons? In the afternoon, right? Let's do like three. Doing a lot of napping. Gotta be careful Nancy doesn't get into a little depressed state. Is this my new food here? No. Still my gross old food. Whoops. I can't believe I didn't eat the butter. I can't believe I had the bread roll without the butter. Nancy. Can I do this yet? This will loosen things up in there. <laughs> I love the idea of somebody walking up to Nancy. Or like, you know, just walking down the corridor and seeing Nancy buttering a keyhole. Be like, what the fuck are you doing? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ludus Ergo S. Hey, that's, uh... da oh, fuck, what's his name? He's got, he's got to carry the old, old world. It's him. Okay, what is this? What is this? What does this mean? I don't know what this means. I, I'm going to take another picture. Because that's what... That's what we're doing. Get myself out of it. Okay. Well, this is... Good job. Us, we... That was very strange. Hello, Jane. Hi, Jane. Whoa, that's weird. Weird poster. Oh, I snooped around here before. I totally love that show. Isn't Brady Armstrong so dreamy? Total oh, party. That's the Brady Armstrong she was talking about. That's got a good drawing. It's quite. She's quite good at art. Looks like you're learning some interesting stuff. Bet you wouldn't say that if you were the one who had to learn it. Yeah, probably not. Learn, sing, discuss. I love that learning about her own family is an extra part of the curriculum. That's pretty crazy. Geometry, algebra. We should definitely be getting the entire school curriculum. That's fucking horrifying. Jane, what is that? Oh, You had a guinea pig? Cute. Yes, but it died. When? I don't know. I'd really rather not think about it, alright? Well, don't ask when. Guinea pigs don't live that long. Aww. Okay. That's my family tree. Ooh. Ask me anything about anyone. Go on, ask me. Tell me about Randall. Who the hell? Is, this is going to take a while, isn't it? For his bright red hair, was considered a hero at the Battle of Poitiers. For his heroism, King Edward III awarded him with the lands in the region called Penvelin. That's how we got our name. Uh, imagine knowing your entire family history like that. That's pretty fucking cool. Odo, that's an odd name. I guess if you're rich, it's cool. If you've got a rich family history. Like farming and cows. His son Milo is much more interesting. Like, I feel like my... As far as I know, the furthest back I know is my family is just coal miners. Coal miners in Manchester, coal miners in Scotland. It'd be a really fucking boring episode of Who Do You Think You Are is what I'm trying to say. What about Milo? Milo inherited not only his grandfather's red hair, but his military prowess. Milo was instrumental in the Siege of Khan and was awarded even more lands by Henry V. What about and Hugo? Hugo? Um, he had a lot of kids, and his dates were 1401 to 1466. Tell me about Albert. He was very mysterious, and the people Ooh. of Blackmore were afraid of him because he knew all these scientific things. No one knows much about him, though. Is it not- do we not go any further down the list? Is that it? Oh no, there we go. Oh bloody hell. Tell I better stick to the red. Edmund. He was into cows. He did a lot of uh, breeding of cows and sheep and got some kind of award from the king. 
He was into... You want to be careful how you phrase that, Jane. Who was Charles? Oh, oh, Charles was a famous judge and wrote very important books on law. But his boy, Garrett, drowned while he was really young. Oh, no. Who was Gillian? She married the Duke of Ballingsford, but she stayed at Blackmore to raise her son, Thomas, who inherited the estate when his grandfather, Charles, died. Tell okay. me about Thomas. He was Charles's grandson and wrote a lot of poetry. He also had three wives, Catherine, Anne, and Mary, but not like at the same time. They died and he just remarried. They all died? It's a bit sus. Who was James? He never married, but one day when he was very oh. old, a baby was found at the doorstep to the manor. He took her in and raised her as his own. That was Eleanor. Okay. Who was Elizabeth? Like the Queen of England? Oh, you mean Elizabeth, my ancestor. It's weird that she's the only ancestor named Elizabeth, since it's such a popular name. So we might get a bit more out of that, what but never mind. What can you tell me about Eleanor? Just that she was burned as a witch, but it wasn't true, and her father, James, died when he saw her die. And then the family fled to France. I don't want to talk about this. Yeah, it's a bit upsetting, isn't it? Who was Edward? He lived in France with his father, Le Comte de Roquefort. He was very interested in languages and translated books from Greek and Latin. Jane's French is very good. Her pronunciation's outstanding. Tell me about Corbin. Oh, uh, I don't know. He doesn't have a coat of arms in the Great Hall because he didn't live here. Wasn't even a British subject. That's all I know. And Philippe? He made a fortune in the New World and bought back most of the lands that were confiscated by Cromwell. Nice. Who's Penelope? I don't know much about her except that she was very loved by practically everyone in England. And there were a million poems written about her. If I have a boyfriend, I'd never let him write a poem about me. <laughs> okay. Tell me about Martha. She was completely dark. She'd wear really bizarre outfits, and she was one of the first women to ride on a steam ah, train. Ah, Martha. A woman after my own heart. Tell me about Brigitte, the one born in 1759. She never married and was bonkers for astronomy. Cool. She adopted her sister's son, Richard, who later got killed at Waterloo. Uncool. Tell me about Richard. He died in Waterloo fighting against Napoleon. Tell me about Edward, the one from the 19th century. He was a big explorer and went all over the world. Cool. He wasn't very close with his son, who was also an explorer. They'd only see each other by chance in weird remote places like Samarkand and Walla Walla. Strange. Who was William? He was an explorer, just like his father. He was kind of a whiner, so I heard. <laughs> oh. Who was John, the one who was born in 1873? He was this huge naturalist and did a lot of exploration in the Amazon. I think there's a plant named after him. <laughs> or maybe a monkey, I forget. Yeah, like a plant or a monkey or something. Yeah. Who was Malachi? He was a doctor Great of medicine name. and did a lot of research on icky skin diseases. Happily, I'm blessed with perfect skin. Oh, well, we can't all be so lucky. Who was Alan? He was my grandfather, but I didn't know him because he died when I was little. I guess he was nice. Apparently, he loved you very much. What do you know about Letitia? Loves plants, hates noise. You can ask her about it. She's usually in the conservatory with her plants. Who was Esther? Esther Pemberlin Romberg, born in 1897 and died in 1951. Her friends called her Polly. Why did her friends call her Polly? Her name was Esther. Well, that was very educational, thank you. Okay, we looked at that. We looked at the Book of Monsters, didn't we? Uh, can... Have... It would be rude to use it now. Oh, okay. It would be rude to use my phone in Jane's room. Yeah, that's Hi, fair. Hi, Nancy. Have you ever seen these before? No, what are they? Oh. I was hoping you could tell me. I found them in the hallway. I've never seen those before in my life. Pretty cool, though, aren't they? <coughs> Excuse me. Do you know of any secret passageways in the manor? Help me I out, Jane. one, but all it did was lead to this... Funny picture. Oh, tell me. You think you could show me where the passageway is? Wouldn't you rather play a game with me? I'm so bored. Let's play a game and then you can show me the passageway. If I play a game with you, will you tell me where the secret passageway is? Okay. Yes. 